this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long reigning champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. So here he is, one of a handful of two division champions in UFC history. My broadcast partner and one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, UFC Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier back on the proven ground tonight. As DC makes the walk to the octagon, you know he's as fashionable as they get. But ultimately, when this man steps into the octagon, he goes out there, fights with a high pace, a lot of pressure, and really tries to overwhelm his opponents. His in your face style is constant, it's overwhelming. He has all the skills that have made him and allowed him to become a UFC double champion and a UFC Hall of Famer. And as you can see, he's got the haircut on point. The fight week beard has given way to the goatee. And Cormier is still motivated at this stage of his career. So we'll see what he has for this particular opposition tonight. But more often than not, people know what DC brings to the table and they have been unable to stop. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, Undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC Parmian. One of the best in the business, Herb Wait. Dean, is our referee Wait. tonight. So here he is, the two-time United States Olympic wrestler, Daniel Cormier. You can expect the takedowns early and often tonight. And even when you know what's coming, more often than not, very hard to stuff the shots of the UFC light heavyweight champion, Daniel Cormier. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Lands a right hand out of that exchange. Oh, man, I could barely get the foot clock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going at it. They are here to fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. That one landed clean. Punch got blocked there. Oh, there it is. Too easy. Beautiful takedown. And on his first attempt, no less, we'll see if the boxer can get back up right now. Well, he said that he was going to dominate him in the wrestling. He said he was going to take him down over and over again and he was gonna break his spirit. That's a great start to that. Getting that takedown, the first takedown, was very important in this fight. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Cormier's back in full mount. I need you to 
making all these shots count. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Great ground and pound by this man. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. This is a terrible position. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Ooh, arm time goes in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, wow. Oh, oh he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you know, have a good match, but these fighters can't see that. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Up to the headlands, flustered by the Korean Super Bowl. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Another punch to the head. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Tags him with the jab on the counter. Beautiful kick lands there. Two minutes to go. Cormier gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Flying knee gets to the target. Beautiful flying knee to the head. Nice jab by Cormier. Oh, beautiful job here defensively. And then he lands the counter shot. So he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse as the consummate counter striker. Straight right is there. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Some nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance and manage space in the striking run. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Oh, you land island. Is that what we're doing here? Nice counter left hook to the head. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, uppercut will snap the head back. Nice counter. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. He, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Huge block there. Glance to the body there. Round two next. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, so a nice job by this young man landing counter strikes in the previous round. We will see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. To be able to stand back and see your opponent's attack and counter so effectively is a very, very difficult skill to pick up. This young man has done that, and he has done that to a really high level. Nice counter jab up top by the Korean Super Bowl. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice work here on the clinch by Short. The fighters separate. 
trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Cormier gets the takedown there. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself, with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Cormier out of the half guard here. We'll see if he can work for a dominant position. Oh, in the ball. Let's go. Nice Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Shot there by the champ. Let's go. Get him off you. Get him off. Choi's in half guard now. Trying to set up a choke here. Looks like he's got the sub locked in tight now. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get subbed. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in, and largely DC, that's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going to He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling change. Another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice defense to block that punch. Ooh, big shot lead. Just a slip there. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Look at the control of the posture as he landed at the... Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Nice straight punch there. Seconds winding down in round two. You ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one. And there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down. And nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks. No wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Well, he misses with the left punch hit. Oh, there's the single. That was a slick transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. This is where he wants to be. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Chor. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice strike lands. So they're trying to shots here to see who's the last man standing. And that one certainly found the target. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Tags it with the straight. Nice job there by Cooper. Choi's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Straight right, he misses. Now some separation from his first position. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice shot out there, there. Oh, and he caught the kick. He's got him in the clinch once again. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Two minutes to go. Choi's in half court. Continuing to work out of the half guard. He's got to be careful here. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. got to be careful here. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Choi. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Cormier is now dealing with a cheat cut. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, right, three oh. rounds down, 
Oh, potentially oh. two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. Nice work out there. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. That punch was deflected, nicely done. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, and a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and showed in that defense. Connected with a solid strike there. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks from the oh. game. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Choi's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Under three minutes to go in round four. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Where he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Right on the button. Push kick there to the body. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Back and forth we go. Leg kick lands, nicely done. Gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Hands high. Hands high. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing all those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's gonna get real bad. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw collars. Cormier's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Choi's kick to the body. That one blocked. 
Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He has got to change something. Under 20 seconds now to go. well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not going to let you on the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to turn him from going right. to that spot. Right. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That right, cut right. is going to be an issue right. as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. That's a nice uppercut. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Big power shot there. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Joy's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Of they talk about the feeling on process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter as we go forward. Nice punch, man. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Pretty good straight punch there by the Korean Superman. Is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more. Oh! He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh! Nice punch to the head. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh! oh nice judo toss for him. Nice punch lands over the top. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. Beautiful.
nice. Well, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad, but as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Back inside control. <laughs> Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl. Do Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to see major strides made when it comes to his skill development. This might be a UFC champion before it's all said and done.